I have to know, are you gay? The question blindsided me because just two minutes prior, I was sipping a peach schnapps on my grandma's back patio, and the two of us were having a very spirited debate on aliens and whether or not we believe they exist. Side note, they totally do. But now she's staring at me with her big brown eyes, asking me once again if I was gay. Unlike Toronto, Texas is not the most accepting place to be a gay man. So I had avoided answering this question for the last 21 years of my life. But that night, I knew my truth was coming out. My only fear was, would she still love me when she finds out? So there I sat, my heart pumping through my chest, my stomach twisted in knots, my hands sweating profusely. I was barely breathing when I finally muttered out, yes, I am. She immediately jumps up and then embraces me in the tightest bear hug, sloppily kissing me on the cheeks like grandmas do with her Manhattan stained lips. She then shouts out, I finally beat Joan Rivers at something. <laughs> Wait, Joan Rivers? What the hell does Joan Rivers have to do with me being gay? Well, apparently Joan Rivers always wanted a gay grandson and now my grandma had one. That night, I embarked on my coming out journey and experienced the freedom of being 100% totally Tyler. But that wasn't the most transformative moment of my coming out. You see, what nobody tells you about the coming out process is that it actually begins the moment you come into yourself. And it's in this process of coming in where you discover that authenticity isn't just an act of courage, but it's a true declaration of freedom. And about eight months before I had the courage to formally come out, I was standing alone in my bedroom, staring at myself in the mirror, confronting the hard truth for the very first time. Tyler, you are gay. I am gay. I am gay. I am gay. And guess what? I have always been this way. Even way back in kindergarten when I had my very first crush on a boy named Timmy. I can still feel the butterflies I used to get every morning when the bus would pull up to Timmy's house. We were seat buddies, lunchtime pals, and recess besties and I had been head over heels for Timmy and so many other guys over the last 21 years of my life. And it was at that moment, in the solitude of my bedroom, free from the judgment of others, where I came into myself, finally learning to accept and love every single part of me for the very first time. Coming out has taught me that freedom truly is being your most authentic self. But in order to find that version of you, it begins by you being brave enough to come into yourself and really get to know the true you. Do you know who you are? Not everyone is going to get to have the fabulous coming out like I did that night on my grandma's patio but every single one of you has the opportunity to find freedom by choosing to come into yourself. Your quirks, your flaws, your unique essence, they are the colors that paint the canvas of your life. So choose to live colorfully. Be proud and liberate yourself from the shackles of society expectations. For in being true, to yourself, you'll find the ultimate freedom, the freedom to be 100% unapologetically, beautifully you.